five million years before any animal with bones ever set fin on land. Insects had already mastered both land and sky. Yes, ancient creatures with ancient forms. An ancient among them, the cockroach. For 320 million years, her form has been enough for the things she needs. Things like food, water, a place to sleep. A way to make herself small, so there's less of her for the world to get. 320 million years, and her form has served her well for all those things. But, at any moment... I don't see it. Think we're in the clear? Things could change. Ah, oh, there you are. I almost didn't smell you come in. Or should that be here? Regardless, I am Professor Grigorsa. It's a pleasure to meet you. I once taught the people of our world about you. I suppose it's only right that now I should teach you about us. But first, you may have noticed that I am a cockroach. Paraplaneta Americana, to be precise. Much like the one you saw earlier. You're not entirely the same, though. She was female, and I am male. If you stood next to her, you would tower over her. But if you were standing next to me... This is what you know as a regular insect, or what my people would call a protocule. For scale, here's one of you. And me. I am what's called a macrovolute. I won't be using the word a lot, though. Mostly we just call ourselves people. We include roaches, beetles, flies, grasshoppers, and many others. We're all different, but in the end, we're all macrovolutes. In future lectures, I'll explain just what it is that makes us what we are, including how we've conquered the square cube law, in case you were wondering. If you're not familiar with the law, be sure to stay after class and read my notes. I'll explain how what you've seen here ties not only into my world, but your world as well. Now, I'd better get going. I hope you'll be attending my next lecture. Until then, class dismissed.